Uh, failure. get to do the uh, chores very often so one of the things I like to do is when I get the opportunity to get out here when I don't have to go to work or I'm going to work late or something like that and I like to get out here and do the chores fed and watered and it's a cold morning it feels good to be out here just kind of enjoying the, uh, the sunlight so uh, sun's up beautiful day nice frosty day so good to be alive let's talk about our quail um, we did Katornix jumbo quail or Caternix Jumbo Quail. Uh, we hatched about 30 of those back in the fall, if you remember. And we've kind of been doing update, updates here and there um, for about three weeks, right at the first part of November. For about three weeks, we were starting to get some eggs off of those quail. Um, and then literally before it hit December, before Thanksgiving, eggs completely shut off. I think the last uh, quail egg we got was somewhere in the neighborhood of November 20, 19th or 20th. Um, and we have not got another quail egg since then. Um, we moved them outside. Sunday after Thanksgiving, we got like a blizzard and then it got turned off really cold. Um, and they were outside, they were in our barn, but it's open air, um, and with a heat lamp. And we lost, I think five quail in a matter of a couple days. Uh, it got to the point where it got so drastic we decided, hey, we better move them inside. So we moved them to the garage in some temporary enclosure. Uh, actually, our mini brooder is what they're housed in right now. We're having to change the bedding out quite often. And um, it's not ideal for wintertime. We had planned on having them outside, but they just do not seem to be cold hardy. I'd say anything under, I mean, we were getting some pretty extreme temperatures like you know 13 14 degrees pretty cold but definitely not planning on housing them over the winter so there has been talk uh between me and jesse on hey what are we gonna do with these quail we're not getting eggs that is kind of the where we sit right now to summarize the quail uh, right now we're getting a total lack of eggs no eggs um, so that's a negative for them uh, we're hoping in the spring that we'll get start getting some eggs and maybe be able to hatch some more, or at that point make the determination, hey, we're good with where we sit, or we wanna grow a little bit more, we wanna do a little bit more. But for right now, um, quail are kind of just like existing because they're existing here. Um, we've got the, the amount of quail we have, have has really whittled down to the point where it really is not going to cost us very much to keep them through the winter and so therefore we're going to keep them through the winter we're going to see how they do in the spring and then we'll make our determination from there but again as i said when things start to pick up in the spring we start meat chickens we have other plans uh, other animals will be coming onto the farm i don't know how much time we'll have to to uh to give to quail uh, if they're not paying out. I mean, there, there, there's no return on the investment of time spent. It's really hard for me and Jesse uh, to justify that. So um, that's where we sit on quail. One of the, some positives I will say about quail though is, is I think if you were um, wanting uh, an animal that 
gave you eggs on a daily basis. I think somebody that maybe lives in a city that was trying to do some city steading or something like that, and if, if the law is allowed, coil might be a really good fit. I think even in maybe an apartment complex, you, you know, they're messy. You couldn't do more than a few. You're a single person and you just needed to get three or four layers. I would definitely say that could be done. gonna take a little late afternoon hike but it had been a nice beautiful sunny day so we're just gonna take a little hike here so yeah it's fun the pond is frozen yeah let's see it <laughs> so this creek actually borders our property and uh, again we just haven't really haven't had an opportunity since we bought the place because it was so overgrown it was still the middle of the summer and then hunting season came to really do a lot of exploring so kids are down here we're just kind of checking out the creek and possum hi possum What'd you find? I found an arrowhead part. That is so See cool. It. Where'd you find it? That means you Yes, you did. Them. That looks a lot like an arrowhead. That is really you can tell cool, it's been Kane. shipped on. So, Kane, where'd you find it? You it I'm gonna start a rock collection and an arrowhead collection too. I have some rocks. Do it again. That's a cool sound. All right, everybody, be quiet. Let's 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 listen to this sound. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for coming along with us. We'll see you next time. We're out.